When I see dolphins, I get all excited. I just love sea animals like turtles and dolphins and jugas. As soon as I see them, I've got a big smile on my face and it's just so magical seeing them all the time. Uh, the dolphins that we have along the Great Barrier Reef in Northern Australia, they are only found in Australia. I think the reef and the health of the reef is linked to the survive, survivability of those species um, in Northern Australia. Uh, we have particularly important collaborations with indigenous ranger groups and traditional owners all along the GBR coast and into Northern Australia. So those collaborations are really important for monitoring. The partnership that we have with Isabel um, is very important. We've been working in partnership with Isabel Beasley for about four years now to monitor and record uh, the, the status and numbers of turtle, dugon and, and dolphins in our sea country. To know that uh, we have a healthy population of, of dolphin and dugons and turtles is important to us. Um, it, it, it lets us know that uh, in our sea country that the fish is healthy and, and the fish is plentiful and, and also that um, the, the habitat is, and the ecosystem is, is doing well as well. I think involving the traditional owners of the sea country that you're working on is the most important part of it. Um, the, the TOs have, have a connection to that sea country that, that no one else has and that, and that scientists can't really um, you know, bring to the table. So with increased knowledge, such as uh, through the Wild and Dolphin Protection Plan, uh, that information will hopefully then link back into Commonwealth management initiatives and protection plans that can be further used to uh, protect these species. My hope for the future of the Great Barrier Reef is that it's going to be around a lot longer for the future generations. Um, I hope that um, our people that come after us can, can experience it um, in similar ways that our ancestors have.